All right, what's good YouTube? Today I'm gonna be making a video on my minimalist desk setup. Uh, this is a video that I've wanted to make for a while, but I usually put it off because I kind of thought, well, if my desk doesn't have a lot of stuff, then who really cares? But I've watched minimalist desk setup videos myself before, so I figured there might be at least some people out there who are interested in what I have going on here. And that being said, we'll jump right into it with the desk. This desk could be one of my favorite material possessions in the world. Uh, I had a bunch of crappy desks when I was growing up. And then one day in high school, my mom asked me if I wanted a desk that my uncle was giving away. And I just said sure, because pretty much anything could be better than what I was working with at the time. And then later that week, I got this. It is a huge architect slash drawing desk, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'm just guessing, it looks like it's about three feet by two and a half feet. It's worn, it's damaged, it's been used a ton by people other than myself, and I think it's really cool. It has some gears on the bottom here, so it can actuate in both height and tilt. Uh, I don't really use that that much at this point, but the option is there if I wanted to. Really, all that's important about this desk is that it's pretty big. It allows me to spread out and do everything that I want to do at once, and it has some character to it, which is really nice. I'll mention the chair just real quick. I don't know where this chair is from. I bought it on Craigslist for 50 bucks because it was literally just down the street. So it doesn't do much, it's pretty comfy, but it does what it needs to, and it kind of matches the couch, which was a happy little accident. The monitor I have here is an Asus TUF gaming monitor. It cost me about $180. Uh, it's amply big. I was working on a TV as my only other display before this. I was playing games in 720p up until like late 2020. So I'm really glad that this one came into my life. It does everything that I needed to. It's really bright, it's really crisp, and it has some adjustable profile pictures so that I can color grade on here when I need to, which is really nice so that I can have a second display and not just do everything on my Mac when I'm doing some work. Games look spectacular on here too, but again, I'm a little bit biased because I was playing in 720p up until about a year ago, but I have no complaints about this thing. Something that I really like about my desk setup that's unique, I think, is my desk mat. So if you play collectible trading card games like Pokemon or Magic the Gathering, you'll instantly recognize this as a playmat. Really, it's just for playing your cards on here to prevent them from getting dirty or chipped or any or damaged or anything. But they also make great desk mats. It's essentially just a huge mouse pad, uh, same kind of rubber tactile bottom with smooth top and some nice art on it. I got this from a Magic the Gathering event that I went to, and it doesn't do anything special. It's just a big mouse pad, but that's good enough for me. So I can put my laptop here, still have enough room over here for my mouse, and then I still have some room over here to do anything else that I need to do, like have pen and paper for journaling or something like that. And speaking of the desk mat slash mouse pad, we have the mouse itself. So this is the Razer Death Adder Elite, and it is one of my favorite mice that I've used. Um, I think it's super comfortable, but also very simple. The only thing that's disappointing about it is that I found out when I switched to Mac that Mac OS is not compatible with Razer Synapse 3, which means I cannot customize any of the RGB lights, or more importantly, the functional aspects of it, like the custom button mappings and macros. However, I just recently found out a program called SteerMouse, and SteerMouse is a Mac program that allows you to customize your mouse pretty much the same way you would with Razer Synapse 3. The short of it is that I can customize my mouse the way I previously used to, and get all my shortcuts back in my mouse so that I can edit much, much faster. Back to the mouse itself though, this thing is great. I think it's super comfortable and the only reason I might see myself ever getting rid of it is just because this super long cable. Um, I like to travel around a decent bit, so I don't like having to wind this thing around it. Uh, if I could get a wireless version, that would be great, but it's like 120 bucks and I just don't feel like dropping that right now. Uh, you might have seen towards the back here, I have my Nintendo Switch. This is the Animal Crossing edition. It is extremely cute. And my Switch mostly lives here because as of late, I've been taking my modded 3DS around with me for gaming on the go, which has been amazing. So I'm playing Smash Ultimate here, which I'm playing on this monitor. And to do that, I'm using this GameCube controller adapter and a GameCube controller. Now I doubt you can see it, but back here I have a five port USB adapter from Aki. Pretty straightforward. It just allows me to charge five USB devices at once, which is really convenient because I can charge uh, my Kindle, my headphones, my earbuds, my phone, and then say my cam batteries all at once, which is really nice. It's a few years old now, so honestly, I'd like to upgrade it to something that has USB-C ports, but it's a little bit expensive, so I probably won't be doing that quite too soon. 
The only computer that I have at this desk setup is my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, this is the early 2021 edition with the M1 chip. I don't even really like to talk about this thing that much because there's so many videos and reviews about it that I feel like anyone who's interested in it knows it's amazing and there's tech creators out there who can talk about it way more in depth than I can. Uh, all I can say is that it does all of the editing that I need to and much, much more. The glue to this whole setup is actually this Anchor USB-C hub right here. So pretty much this allows everything to come together. It has a Thunderbolt port, a USB-C port, two USB Type-A ports, an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot, and an HDMI port. So when I want to get to editing with both monitors, this thing is clutch. It allows me to have all my external media in one place, allows it to be constantly powered, and then also like I said, use a mouse and an additional display. This laptop is great for doing editing on the go and it's something I'm totally comfortable doing, but if I have a second monitor, I might as well put it to use and make my editing experience a little more enjoyable. And really the only other thing I have in my desk setup are these two figurines right here. This is a little ceramic figure of Pikachu eating some pancakes, which is ridiculously cute. And here we have the Smash Bros amiibo of Ness. Uh, Ness is my main in Smash Ultimate. So I thought it would make a nice little decoration. And that's everything in my minimalist desk setup. I really like it because I think it's a little bit unlike other minimalist desk setups. It's not committed to being all white. It's not committed to being crystal clean. It's just doing what I need in a very functional way. And I really like that it has some character to it rather than being honestly a little devoid with the all white thing to me. <laughs> if you've watched to this point, thank you so much for hanging around. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I'm not overexposed to shit from the sunlight.